Hi guys, I'm Mary with TNK. I don't know if you're aware, but Amazon is tracking everything you do and watch on the Fire TV. Yes, you're here right. When you bought a Fire TV, all the settings are preset up, so you're not aware of what you're sharing. I don't know you guys, but I think there's a lot of companies doing, doing this. It's not only Amazon. I think uh, a lot of companies, they preset everything. So you basically, you believe that you, you have to just plug in and play and it's not true. So there's a lot of things that you should, should uh, uh, be aware of these um, settings. In this video, I will help you to understand which setting needs to be turned off immediately and other one had to be disabled. But first, a little bit of context. A research made by NBC is showing that since 2015, there's more people buying Fire TV than the other brands. Okay, for this upgrade, we're going to work only in three sections of the settings. Preference, Applications, and My Fire TV. First, click and hold the Home button, and then go to Settings. Okay, first, you go to Preference. Okay, the first stop is parental control. If you have kids in your house, you can add a password and put on here. Okay, go back. Now go to privacy settings. Okay, this is the more critical area that you should put more attention. Okay, device usage data. So basically here, they want to collect your data and use it for the benefits for ads or whatever. So no, turn off. Then go to collect app usage data. And here they want to know what you are downloading, if what, what kind of apps or what are you looking. So no, again, you don't want to they see what you're downloading and what you want to, uh, uh, to, to buy. Now interest based ads. So no, basically if you want to receive ads from, from them, no, you don't want any ads. And now go back and go to data monitoring and make sure it's off and then go back and go to notification settings and then you go to app notifications and there should be a list of all your apps so you have to put off to all your apps so you don't want to receive any notification for any app so put it off to all of them and then go back two times and then go to feature content and then here basically uh, you don't want to uh, video or audio is an autoplay so you don't want to nothing be in the background playing by yourself so put off to all these two and then go back twice to the main menu Now go to My Fire TV. Go to Developer Options. And here you put yes to both. So basically you are accepting to create or develop uh, new channels. They don't want that, but you can download a very good apps from other developers. So yeah, accept it.
and now go back twice to the main menu and go to applications And now go to game circle and here if you want to play games so put no because it only wastes memory from the part tv so put off and go back and now go to amazon photos and here you put off and disable so you don't want to the part tv uh, extract your photos from your phone so remember to put off and disable and then go back And now go to App Store. Now go to in-app purchase. So basically he, you put off because you don't want to receive any promotion or any newspaper for all the apps that you, you bought. And then you go to notifications. And you do the same. You don't want to receive any notification for the App Store. And then you make sure that all the high cloud app is off. Then go back. And now go to manage style applications. So the Fire TV has only 5.2 gigabytes of memory. So depending on how many apps you install, you can fool the memory of the Fire TV and cannot be upgraded. So if you have uh, your apps going run slow or your streaming is getting uh, freezing, so you can go here, click force to stop, and then clear catch. So that we reduce the speed because sometimes there's other apps uh, playing in the background. So you don't even notice you're watching Netflix or any other show. Or, or, and then you, there's another app that is still running. So you go to the, all the apps, you click forward to stop and then clear the catch. And that would increment the speed of your Fire TV. Now the last thing, you go to the main menu and you go to uh, display and sound. This is the first one. You click a screensaver and then you turn off the screensaver because sometimes it's making slow your Fire TV when the screensaver running in the background and then you try to put it back again and you feel a difference on, on, on the speed, so turn off. And now your Fire TV is safe. Okay guys, so that's the end of the video. Uh, honestly, I was not aware also to these settings that, uh, that were preset there. So I was, I, I was aware that there's something that all the companies do when you're buying your stuff. So they can monitor in the, your data and your preference so they can put some ads there but I was not aware that they tracking everything on the Fire TV so I hope this video was uh, helpful for you and your family if you have any question about these settings or the device Fire TV or any device so please put the comment below and remember to subscribe to the channel hit the like button and see you next time Adios.